A broken clock is right twice a day, yes? Well, that is German and his plan. Consider it the first correct strike of day. Trapped here for days now, and the monsters only grow stronger each night. Between protecting the teleportation base and caring for our comrades' wounds, you could say we are rather overwhelmed. We're Takio in fighting form. It might be different, but alas. Fortunately, there is a defensive turret that will help you resist monster attacks. It is extremely effective, if I do say so myself. And I would know. I created it. Yeah, yeah, open a window. Your ego's stinking up the place. Listen, kid, if you encounter any materials scattered around out there, no matter how junky they seem, bring them to us. We'll help you find a use for them. Besides the defensive umbrella, they can't stand the storm. Listen to me carefully. At night, the bases will attract no end of dangerous creatures. If it is destroyed, we'll be torn to pieces by the storm in seconds. Bastards are here, guns are loaded. Let's get this started. Transmission device is almost repaired. You'd better collect more supplies and meet back here before nightfall so we can prepare. I sent the salvage we've gathered from several scattered vehicles your way. Use it wisely. Running vehicles are rare commodities. And should you happen to use one, exercise caution. The Ether Storm paralyzes motors when night falls because.
you seem like an honest, if simple-minded sort of person. So do enjoy. For today, I will provide you with more defensive turrets. In addition, I'm sending you my latest turret design. You may look over the blueprints for more details. Upgrading the original turret should help it adore more of those creatures. Supply box here. Supply box here. Do not be stingy with bullets either. Let them rain down like hellfire. when the sun's down and run scared the minute it comes up, will ya? The friggin' cowards. This is not that complicated. Just look at the vortex. With the etheric energy rage at night, transmission cracks open when these monsters are then attracted by the energy. Like raccoons drawn to the dumpster. But these are infinitely more fun to blow up. devices are being accumulated to protect the base when we are ready to go home. What the hell, Doc? We teleported, but we're still in the same damn place. Do you think I don't know that, Gipsy? The energy in this base is too strong. It's sucking us in place like candy. We need to harness more of that energy ourselves to break through this barrier. Uh. Changing mag, cover me.
a large burst of energy after the storms cause them to grow reactants at night. They're quite unstable in their current state, but if we could manage to control that during the daytime, we might be able to use their energy. I'll mark the locations of a few crystals on the map. Don't exactly get how you think you can control them while making them go nuts, though. Take this. It's a device that will cause a reaction within the ether crystals. Use it when in close proximity and smash them. Then you'll be able to gather the pure or crystallized energy that's released. Or it will resemble several frag grenades blowing up in your face. Certainly one of those things. Listen, the base has its own warehouse that can be used for storage. That warehouse also lets you share supplies with your teammates. Trust me, this is not the time to be a lone wolf.
This is our last chance. Airdrop has been delivered. I found several ether crystals giving off unique readings here. The frequency of the radiation waves remains the same, but it seems to bear artificial marks. Densities of gasoline.
Hurry up. It's time for our last stand. Now this is a masterpiece. Comrades, let's make this place cleaner than the halls of KTB. Open. Men, they are going home. 